Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. Um, I'm just going to give you pretty much a quick update on what we got going on. I have not posted a video since like Saturday, Friday or Saturday. We did a live stream last night and that was a lot of fun. We had Kevin, Jason, and Daniel um, over talking about the meetup, uh, the meet and greet event that we're putting on uh, March 28th. Um, that live stream was awesome. That's the most people I ever had in there. Um, big, big thanks to Daniel and Kevin and Jason. Uh, they all shared shared the the, uh, the live stream yesterday, and that had a lot to do with everyone jumping on. I appreciate that. And all the super chats we got, thank you so much. Um, you guys, you know, um, super chats are not expected, um, but when you do do them, they are appreciated. And if I missed any of you guys last night that gave one, I apologize for that. It was just it was just like chaotic in there. We had so many people in there. It was fun, a good time. It was a great time to fellowship um, with everybody last night. We had we had a great time. So thanks for stopping by the live stream last night if you did too, because um, it was a lot of fun. Um, but today, I'm going to tell you guys. Sorry, I was wrong. I was wrong about the goats ready to have their kids any day. Um, they're given the signs that they're ready to pop at any day. Now, and I for sure thought we already had a couple on the ground. Um, but hasn't happened yet has not happened yet. So literally any day now um, So I'll show you the goats and then um, I'll show you we've been working on me My father-in-law been working on the barn my friend Randy came over he helped us some um, and actually my father-in-law worked on it some while I was at work and uh, I appreciate that so much and um, we'll walk over there I'll show you that and also I've been doing some uh, I've got the roof on the chicken house um, So I'll show you that and I'm gonna try to throw a little bit of siding up to do a little bit here and there um, Each day when I get off work to get this done um, it's just been it's been really really chaotic the last few days and and uh, it, it's been it's been cool So I'll show you guys that uh, whenever I put the roof on there the other day um, It was so so windy out here. I could not film uh, so I apologize for that um, But yeah, we'll walk over there a minute. Let me show you the goats No babies yet I thought that one would have already popped But not yet There's Coco. What's up, Coco? Hey, Gracie. Boy, she's getting big. I'm hoping she has twins. Shadow's walking in there. Shadow's milk's coming in now, too. yeah so it went from um, two goats look like they're about to pop to about four goats now maybe five um, but yeah any day you can hear Ho or Hadley that's not going very fast the go-karts we've been having some issues with the go-kart um, the belt's been slipping and we my father-in-law changed I think the clutch on it and stuff uh, so yeah it's working but it's not going very fast I'm gonna have to look into that later but right now look at look at Gracie what running in the mud um, we'll walk over here and I'll show you an update on the pole barn it's a 30 by 40 pole barn um that we're kind of just working on when we can you guys know how it is i start one project i need to finish before i start another um but i had to get these poles set when um the contractor was available to do it so it's like all right let's get them set now we're just trying to frame it in it's with the two by fours and the two by ten so i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so you can see i did a two by six treated lumber on the bottom and then two by fours every two feet on center and then i'm gonna have a two by uh two by ten up top has a header and I got those right here and you see that one just needs the header on it and there's an extra 2x4 that needs to go up there and this is that's what we got so far my father will actually put all this up by himself um, yesterday whenever I was at work did a great job so I've been buying material as as I need it and now I need some more um, I got a, a, a lumber count that I need to go get just uh, enough to finish um, framing, it, framing it up like this. So I'll go get that. And hopefully uh, by this weekend we'll have all the 2x4s and everything on that. But I have to get, I need to do some dirt work um, on the actual uh, barn inside itself. And you can see it's unlevel. I mean, it's, the boards are level, but the ground is unlevel. So I need to bring, I'm going to have to get a, a little tractor or a bobcat in here and do uh, quite a bit of dirt work right over there. Uh, bring that down because we can't finish putting the boards up all the way around because it's just higher than the rest of this so that'll probably make a video on that whenever i do get the tractor bobcat over here 
I'll be putting a lot of this uh, dirt back in here to fill this out and level it out and I'll be able to finish all of this. So as soon as I get all of this leveled out, get the two by fours, two by tens, and all that stuff up, and I'll get my trusses ordered, then it should be rocking and rolling. Um, but yeah, that's the update on the barns. It's a 30 by 40 barn um, with a 10, 10 foot by 10 foot um, door on both on the north and side, south side. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good barn for the goats. So let's walk over here and look at the chicken coop. And you can see we've, it looks, still looks like a mess out here, but we've got a lot of this cleaned up from what it was from the storms and in the, in the house building and everything. I about got that dumpster full and we still gotta do a little bit more work over here, but here's the coop. So I got the tin up. I have to put the ridge cap and all that. I got a slight overhang. I'm gonna have to cut, I'm gonna have to cut all that off. That way I can put my trim pieces up. But yeah, so I'll have to trim that up and uh, I'll have to put the siding up first. I get all the siding up and all that before I can put my trim up and then put the ridge cap on top. Um, so it's all coming together. It's just, a, it's been a slow process. I wanted this done like a week ago, but you guys know how it is. It's busy, busy. So yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to put um, a couple sheets up and I'll show you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of the video of me working a little bit on chicken. make sure it's level come here you see the bubble right there yeah if it's in between those two lines it means your board's level is that cool
Thanks for the help. Hadley, thanks for the help. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Hadley's actually a good help. Thanks, Hadley. Uh, so you can see I got this uh, east or west wall up. The window is in. It fit perfect. That's amazing. I love that. Um, you can see I put a little neller on bottom. Uh, just made it easier for me to do this by myself. Set it up there. And that was just, just an easy little trick. Um, let's see if this, how this window opens. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so that wasn't bad. It took me about 30 minutes or so to get this one wall done. It shouldn't take me that much longer to get the rest of it done. I'm just ran out of daylight. And I wanted to make a video for you guys because I haven't been on here um, with the actual video in several days. And it was time. So let's go over here and look at it. What do you think, Hadley? Looks good? Not bad, not bad. I like it. What about you? Yep. Okay, so there's an update for you guys. We've been working on the barn, working on the chicken coop. The chicken coop, literally, like I said before, one, one if I had one free morning to do it, it'd be done. Um, but I got my chicken doors in in for the the, uh, the chicken coop that uh, the company sent to me. And I'll be making a video on that um, by itself. We mentioned it in the live stream last night. Um, we put an automatic chicken door on the front over here. And I'm going to have an extra, extra one uh, for the barn. I'm thinking about putting uh, something with the barn and all that. So that'll be a, a way down the road future project. Um, but just kind of thinking ahead. Let's see here. Yeah, other than that, I think it's looking good. I'm going to leave that nailer up. I'll use that for the other sides. Um, but yeah, um, one of my subscribers, whoever it was, said you probably should... Uh, screw in to the actual two by sixes on bottom to give it more support i thought that was a good idea i'll, I'll go ahead and put a trim piece up top um, and it's gonna and that just gives it more support whenever you do that down below i actually really didn't even think about that and i thought it was a good idea uh, whenever one of y'all suggested that so thanks a lot but yeah looking good all right so that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much for taking time to stay uh to click on this video and watch if you made this far thank you so much if you liked it what are they doing over there great say Oh, there is playing. If you like this video, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, if you guys are interested in the meetup that we're doing March 28th, uh, go check out um, the Facebook page on Keeping It Dutch, Arm Family Homestead, uh, Hidden Heights Farm, and the Crockers. On their face on all our Facebook pages, we have shared that link. And if I think about it, I'll put one down below in, in the description box. So, you guys, looking forward to seeing you guys. If you guys do come to the meetup, I'm giving you guys plenty of time to make arrangements and all that. And we'll be putting out several more videos um, on this, give you more details. And there's a lot of details on the Facebook uh, page. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.